but she was simping over him. I said, screw it, man. This makes no sense. This man was like 5'3". What made him attractive to women was a variety of things. Hey, what's going on? In this video, I want to talk to y'all about two things. The first thing I want to answer is somebody's question regarding being short and having difficulties dating women. Let me tell you why height only plays a small part in a woman's selection process. The second thing I want to mention is about this short guy when I was in the military who had the girl that I wanted and he did nothing with her. And this drove a lot of men crazy because of the power that he had. It was ridiculous. And anyways, if you need help or you have a question just like him, leave a comment or hit me up on IG or send me an email. And before I talk about why short men can get girls regardless, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's start with your comment. Your comment says this, the reason a lot of men act like betas is because they're not good looking enough to get the girl on their own. So they feel like they have to do things to win her over and get her to like them. I would say you're absolutely correct. It's too many men out here doing the most and getting only pats on the head. I'm gonna substitute one of your words, but you said in their minds, I act like a little coward to get the girl any way I can or remain alone forever. And this is true, dudes be grateful to get a girl because they're not used to getting girls. So this is what I'm going to talk to you about the whole height thing. You also said, take me for example, I'm 5'2", I have accomplished a lot in my life, ex-military, movie Thai fighter. But because of my height, girls that are even 4s and 5s are going to reject me instantly. How can I, as a 5'2 man, supposed to be in the game and actually have a chance? So you said due to your height, you feel like women that are 4s and 5s will turn you down. That's understandable, but don't take offense to my next statement. Just hear me out, right? The first thing I want to point out about men who say they struggle with women because of their height is this. Welcome to my world. I'm six foot, and guess what? I ain't special. You talking like you got a special case. You ain't special because of your height. These women treat all of us equally like buns. So with that being said, it just means you got one more thing that you need to overcome. Don't sweat it. Women have been acting extra picky since before we was born. And this is the most common problem that most men have. Men don't understand women. Therefore, they struggle with women. It could be a lot easier. Everybody out here looking for a magic trick, but for real, there is none. The only choice you got to get better with women is hard work. Your height is only a small issue, not the overall issue. I want you to remember this. I think I said it in a different video. Out of 100 women, 90% of them won't want you. 10% of them will entertain you and only 2% of them will be worth your time. If the average dude only has a chance with 10 out of 100 women, that means you need to get to work and stop overthinking. With those numbers being low as they are, you're going to have to learn to not let rejection concern you. You got to learn to approach women. I literally dedicated this summer to learn to be not bothered by women not being interested in me. Remember, I said about 100 women. I gotta be on like number 70 because I tried talking about one or two of them a day. And by now, I would say about six of them fell in love, but the thing was, I wasn't ready, so they moved on. So I kept it moving. These women are going to turn you down one way or another, and I'm just speaking from experience. You said you was turned on by fours and fives though. I've been turned on by some of them this year too. They in there like, what can you do for me? I'm in there like nothing, but I got this meat though. I've asked women what they hate the most about when men approach them. Nearly all of them said the same thing. Men come off as robotic and it makes them feel weird. Nothing about the hype. Of course, they'll judge you a little bit, but it's the conversation that's the deciding factor. If you are not exceptional, women won't think twice about you. Women always turn their dudes down. It's like a defense mechanism, so you gotta prepare yourself. I've had a girl tell me I've never liked bald men, but when I saw you, I had to second guess my own thoughts. Fellas, be the exception. Girls are gonna say crap like, you're too short. Unless a woman is showing clear signs that she is not interested in you. This may be a minor test because she ain't never mess with a short dude. So you need to lay the ground work for the rest of them. Be the exception. Be exceptional. We all get shot down by women, so don't let this nonsense demoralize you. But ultimately, work on how to respond in a positive way when they start targeting your height. At the same time, you also need to get the basics of communication down. 
ask her questions that's going to get her open to talking and then ask her follow-up questions. Oftentimes or not, when I'm out, I just be winging it. Say for example, when I was at work, I told the dude at work this. If I were to walk into this IT closet and I saw this whole mess and a woman was in there, I'd be like, dang girl, all this shit everywhere. You must like it messy, huh? Just to joke around to get her to laugh and see where the talk goes from there. Is she too serious and I just let it go? Instead of focusing on her number, focus on how invested she is in the conversation. Focus on if she's even the type of woman you like. Stop trying to prove yourself to her. Let her prove herself to you. If she is making far less effort when y'all talking, respectfully pull yourself away and quit wasting energy. If you ask a question about her hobbies and they don't align with your values in life, respectfully pull away and quit wasting energy. But if she seems actually invested in the conversation and you like where things are going, then go for it. I typically find that this works. Tell her the days that you are free and ask her which one of these two days works for you. If she doesn't choose one of the two days or outright give her a number and then pick one of those two days, then let it go. If she does choose one of those two days, then ask for her number. Then proceed to set up a date. So that's my message to you about dating and being short. Us men, we fighting the same war. So don't let that bother you. The men that work the hardest gets the best results. The final thing I wanna to talk to you about is the short guy that I knew in the military. For the life of it, I couldn't wrap my head around why women liked him. I never thought about his height being a factor because I saw him as a man not a short guy but seeing that i'm older and wiser now it all makes sense in that moment he was the better man and i'm not afraid to admit it this girl was like 5'9 or 5'10 but she wanted him and he just kept friends on her she was cute and a lot of dudes wanted her i'm like what the what is wrong with him? She gave him special incentives and I couldn't understand it. She treated me like a son and I ain't simping over no girls, but she was simping over him. I said, screw it, man. This makes no sense. This man was like 5'3". What made him attractive to women was a variety of things. Number one, he was extra fit. The dude was built like a bodybuilder. Number two, his personality. He was outgoing, witty, didn't take disrespect for nobody, and a good listener. All the traits that good women look for in men. And number three, he took care of his appearance. You couldn't help but notice him. This dude was dressed to impress. So with him having all these qualities, you think he was struggling with women? I doubt it, but don't let the hype fool you. This dude was the man. They didn't call him savage for nothing. If you feel this video deliver on his promise, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. This your boy Cole Labs, and I'm out.